I'm going to quickly run through the new trackbar component in Firepower 10 Update 2. So let me first run our main demo, which is included with Firepower. And I'm going to go over first to the trackbar. So the trackbar is a new component we just introduced. So let's click on the trackbar demo. And notice this demo has four different tab pages, horizontal, vertical, two thumbs, and grid. The horizontal is similar to the built-in trackbar, but it additionally has the ability to display tick marks and also has the ability to display labels, which is very useful to the end user to convey exactly how much the trackbar is being moved in the coordinates that you're specifying. You can also specify this coordinates as a percentage, but that's a built-in property that uh, you could just set to true, and then it will show the numbers between the min and the max as a percentage. And those also have here, it's bound to a a image control. So when I move this, it's going to change the property, the blur property of the image control. And likewise, if I change the brightness, it will change the brightness property of the imager that's on here. And that's a TWW image component sitting on this form. Now the vertical is similar. I'll be able to scroll up and down. And notice that you have zero on top and 100 on the bottom, which probably more likely for a vertical one, you'll want to invert that and have 100 on the top and zero on the bottom, or whatever your max and min values are. Now let's go ahead and look at the two thumb. This is useful if you want to have the user define a range. So and here I have a min and a max thumb, and you can customize that with your own bitmap. We'll show how to do that at design time in just a little bit. But notice here, if I move this minimum thumb, you see the range over here, it will be changing. Looks like I'm changing the maximum value because I actually have this inverted already. So let me switch back. And now I'm going to be moving them in, and you'll see that the minimum is changing. When I move the max, the maximum is changing. And these sums are very smart in that if I go all the way to together, it's going to stop right there next to it. It's not going to overlap the other thumb. Likewise, you could do the same thing for this one here. The only difference here is just using a different color, showing that you can customize the bitmap accordingly. Now, if I also can flip the labels, and now the labels will be on top instead of the bottom, I can also hide the tick marks if I don't want to show any ticks. Now let me go to the grid version and turn the labels back on and, and turn the ticks back on. Now in here, I'm actually only having one track bar and I put it into a grid so it's going to show a track bar for each record. So in here, it's duplicated, which is a nice convenient way to display it in the grid. And here I also have a custom thumb that looks that makes it look more like a, a maybe a audio panel that you're switching the volume, but here I just changing the price. All right, let me go ahead and close this form and go back to design time. So I'm going to open up the track bar demo just towards the end here. And here, this is the actual demo we just ran. And this is the horizontal demo. And then notice that it has a track bar that's contained within a track bar panel. So if you want to customize the track bar, you need to go into the panel and click on the track bar. And whatever properties you change here will affect it at runtime. So in here, notice that we have an orientation property. We have that set to horizontal. And in the track bar panel, let me click on that. Notice that we have a tick marks property. And in here, we can customize the display format if you want to actually put labels on there, saying inches or percent. Um, the same display format you use in the T field will work over here. And inside here, you also have a, a marks location, whether it be the bottom right, or of course, it could be the top left. The both and that is not going to work right now. That's not enabled, so don't use that one. And inside here, we also have labels percentage, which I mentioned, which will show the labels as a percentage, which we already have enabled. If we don't have that, it's going to show it as a min and max, which is 1 to 10. But we're going to show it as a percentage. It's a little bit more clear. Now, what else do we have here? Let's go to the vertical one. The vertical one, um, we can invert that, which we did at the uh, runtime. If I invert that, first of all, I need to go into the track bar. I can invert that now, and it will flip around the min and max. And the two thumb example, we have to enable a property called two thumb inside the track bar. So we scroll down here. Inside there is a two thumb property. There it is. We have it at true. And another thing we actually did is we changed the thumb image. And then here we overrode the max bitmap of the min bitmap. So instead of using the styles thumb, we're going to load our own thumbs. And notice if I go into here and edit it, you'll see a thumb. And notice that the 
right hand side is empty the left hand side we actually have the bitmap and it's actually transparent it's a ping file so these pixels over here are transparent so we can see the background but it's important that you understand that you want to have half of the bitmap be empty so that they won't overlap the min and the max thumbs so the max thumb will kind of bump up to it if you actually don't do it this way then they're going to overlap when you drag them together and it'll look kind of funky to the end user so we we have it like this for the 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 min thumb and if we go to the max thumb it will be like a mirror image and now the right side contains the bitmap so it's important you do that if you want to use the range and have it uh, work seamlessly and if you actually have a min and max going up and down then it'll be the same thing except the it'll be uh, rotated 90 degrees now the last demo is actually using our layout grid and inside here we have some controls we have a we have a trackbar panel we have a label and we have another label and inside of here we overrode the thumb on this as well this thumb is going to be the bitmap thumb and we chose one that looks kind of elegant for for an audio soundboard. I'm going to close this back up. So don't forget that this update is free for all registered Firepower 10 users. Just have to go download from our website. The same registration number will work, the same password. So it's a nice update at no cost to you. All right, thanks guys.